Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. This is Jasmine Gonzalez, a fitness and makeup vlogger on YouTube. Listen to three clips from one of her recent videos and fill in the blanks. In clip one, she's talking about shoes. So I'm gonna leave a link down below just so you guys can check them out and if you guys really wanna buy them, then you guys can buy them. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Okay, so we're gonna go eat. I don't know where yet because we're all feeling nauseous, but we know we gotta eat. So I'm gonna leave a link down below just so you guys can check them out. And if you guys really want to buy them, then you guys can buy them. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Okay, so we're gonna go eat. I don't know where yet because we're all feeling nauseous, but we know we gotta eat. So I'm gonna leave a link down below just so you guys can check them out. And if you guys really wanna buy them, then you guys can buy them. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Okay, so we're gonna go eat. I don't know where yet because we're all feeling nauseous, but we know we gotta eat. If you're watching the video with someone else or with your teacher and classmates, Pause it and compare your answers. So here are the answers. In clip one, she said, so I'm going to, but she pronounced it Anna. And she said, if you guys really want to, but she pronounced it Wanna. And in clip two, she said, I don't know, but she pronounced it I don't know. And in clip three, she said, so we're going to, just like up here, but instead of Anna, she said gonna, a little different pronunciation. And finally, but we have got to, but all she said was just gotta. So some of those might have been hard to understand because, as you can see, she didn't pronounce those phrases in their full form. She used a reduced version of each phrase. So let's look at these phrases that Jasmine reduced, that actually get reduced by many English speakers. So you might be familiar with, instead of going to, all of these sounds owing to, except g, get changed. So you just hear gonna. You might be familiar with that. You might be less familiar with all of the sounds disappearing and changing, and instead, like Jasmine did, you just hear una, una. And when there's I'm in front of it, 
like what Jasmine did, sometimes it can sound like just one word, mana, mana, instead of I am going to. And instead of I don't know, she deleted the D, N, and the T, which is very common, and she just said, I don't know, I don't know. And another way that this phrase gets reduced is to just people just saying, don't know, don't know. And then with want to, you might be familiar with wanna, the T and the two, uh, the T disappears, the two just becomes a. Uh. Um, so people with the vowel sound might say wanna, or they might say wanna, it might be a uh or a. Uh. And then with have got to, have, um, can be reduced down to just of, of gotta, or like with Jasmine, it disappears completely and you just hear gotta instead of have got to, gotta. Another example of a phrase that gets reduced in many different ways is the phrase, do you know what I mean? It's a phrase a speaker uses to check if the listener understands what they are saying. So I'm going to show you some of the many ways that this phrase gets reduced. I'm not showing you all of the different ways because it can really vary on the speaker and how fast or informally they're talking, but um, these are some common ways that this phrase gets reduced. So do can just be eliminated completely, and you, you hear the weak form, just ya. Yeah. So you can just hear, you know what I mean? Both of them can be, uh, can disappear completely, so you just hear, know what I mean? And then do you and what can disappear, and all you hear is, know what I mean? And then some people just break it down to, you know, but again, you're getting the weak form of you, which is ya. Yeah. So you just hear, you know. And then when people are speaking really fast, I've heard, you know, be reduced to just yo, yo. And finally, this isn't as common, but I have heard, do you know what I mean? Reduced to just no and mean, but it sounds like na me, na me. To help you hear the reduction of common phrases, I'm going to say each of these phrases three times, fast, then slower, then fast. Pause the video if you need to while you number a document, 1 through 12. Here we go. Number one, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Number two, this morning. This morning. This morning. Number three, got any? Gani Gani Number four Abi 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 Number five, just moment. Just moment. Just moment. Number six, in it. In it. In it. Number seven. Valready. 
ball ready. Ball ready. Number eight. Spin a while. Spin a while. Spin a while. Number nine. Malways. 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 Number ten. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Number 11. Do you like? Do you like? Do you like? Number 12. Y'all right? Y'all right? Y'all right? Again, if you're watching with someone else or with your partner and classmates, Pause the video and compare your answers. Here are the answers. Pause the video again if you need to while you check them. So number one, Never mind is a phrase we use when we want someone to not pay any more attention to or to not think any more about something. And here the V and the D disappeared. So instead of never mind, you just hear ne'er mind, ne'er mind. And number two, the TH and I, and then the final G disappeared. So it sounds like a new word. It just is smornin'. So instead of ing, it just becomes in. And it just starts with an S sound, smornin'. And number three, the T and the A sound disappear. So you just end up hearing ga ni. Ga ni? Like, do you ga ni money? And number four, I'll be, the I'll just changes to an ah sound. So it just sounds like a new word by itself. I'll be, like I'll be back. I'll be back. And number five, the us changes to a schwa, us, a weaker. And the A, the T and the A disappear. So it just sounds like just moment, just moment. And isn't it the z and the t sound disappear so it just sounds like a brand new strange word in it in it and number seven i've already the i sound completely disappears so it just sounds like a new word that starts with a v i've already i've already number eight it completely disappears so the S just attaches to bend, so it just sounds like spin a while, spin a while. And number nine, similar to number seven, the I disappears, so the M attaches to always, and it just sounds like a new word, I'm always. I'm always running late, I'm always.
And number 10, uh, I think it was let us see on the other slide, but commonly contracted, but the T and the S disappear, or even the whole word us disappears, and you just hear le see, let's see, let's see, which again takes two words and makes it sound like just one shorter word. Number 11, we have a lot disappearing here, would and you disappear, but D and U, um, there's another video on coalescence, but when D and U appear together at the border between two words, you often hear a J sound in connected speech. And you, you get the weak form of it. So instead of you, you get ya. So this starts with J. That's why it starts with J, because of elision of wood, the coalescence of D and Y, and the weak form of you. So you get J like. And it again just sounds like one strange word J like, J like. And number 12, are you all right, gets reduced. The, the R disappears, the O-U here disappears, and the Y just attaches to all right. So you just hear y'all right, y'all right. Which, by the way, is a greeting in the UK, which is just another way of saying how are you. But in the United States, we usually only use are you all right if we think something is wrong with somebody, if they look sick or tired or not well for some reason, or even if they look upset, we would say, are you all right? So we use it to express concern in the United States, whereas in the UK, it's a greeting. So sometimes actually pronouncing these forms of connected speech, in this instance, reduction, can help you to hear them when other people use them. So listen and repeat after me. Try to pronounce the reduced form. So try not to pronounce the letters that are crossed out and try to pronounce the new sounds over here. Number one, never mind. Never mind. Number two, smornin. Smornin. Number three, gani. Gani. Number four, Abby, Abby. Number five, just moment, just moment. Number six, in it, in it. Number seven, Val ready. Vol ready. Number eight. Spin a while. Spin a while. Number nine. Malways. Malways. Number ten. Let's see. Let's see. Number 11, July, July. Number 12, y'all right? Y'all right? So let's go back to Jasmine's video and let's see if you can hear more clearly this time the reduced forms, how she says Anna instead of going to, how she says wanna instead of want to, how she says I don't know instead of I don't know, and how she says gonna, a different reduced form than Anna of going to, and instead of have got to, how she just says gotta. So I'm going to leave a link down below just so you guys can check them out. And if you guys really want to buy them, then you guys can buy them. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Okay, so we're going to go eat. I don't know where yet because we're all feeling nauseous, but we know we got to eat.
So I'm going to leave a link down below just so you guys can check them out. And if you guys really want to buy them, then you guys can buy them. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Okay, so we're going to go eat. I don't know where yet because we're all feeling nauseous, but we know we got to eat. So to review reduction in natural speech, whole words and sounds in common expressions can disappear or change. What is left links together to sound like one word that's shorter than the original phrase. So a final example, if you look at a little girl and what she's doing here with her dog, uh, she's saying, give me, I imagine. But often when we say give me, the V sound disappears and we just say gimme, which sounds like just one, one strange new word, gimme. So she's probably saying to her dog, gimme that. Now it's your turn. With a partner or alone, create a dialogue with at least three common phrases that often get reduced and then share it with your partner or teacher and classmates using the reduced form of those phrases. And now for the real world challenge. Listen for an example of a reduced form of a phrase in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. There are many more uh, examples of reduced forms of common phrases. I just gave you um, a sample here in this video. And last, I just want to tell you, this is the last video in this micro listening lessons series. This 20 video course was a project for my Master of Arts in English Language Teaching dissertation. And I just posted them on YouTube in hopes they would be beneficial for English language learners and teachers. Thank you for watching and best wishes to you for your English learning and or teaching journey. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.